What is up YouTube and welcome to this Suicide Squad video. So this video will have spoilers for the movie so please do be warned if you haven't seen it yet. So the Suicide Squad was a superb sequel and it was a total joy to watch start to finish. I have a full breakdown on my channel if you want to check that out. So the main villain of the piece is the entire Corto Maltese coup group and also the Thinker, which is an interesting choice with his non-comic book name. Now, the US government had been operating secret experiments on Starro, who was found in space by American astronauts. And I found it funny how when it was revealed that the squad members were like, hey, why were they not careful with that thing? Starro isn't as fleshed out here merely providing the action-packed final act and some real gross-out horror-style James Gunn moments. Now, who is Starro and how will he possibly return based on the comic book's lore? Now, Starro debuted in The Brave and the Bold 28 and the story was titled Starro the Conqueror and was the Justice League of America's first appearance as they fought. It came to Earth and empowered some starfish who would explode an atom bomb and place Happy Harbor, Rhode Island under mind control. It was defeated by actual quick lime, and, well, it did actually survive, or at least a part of it survived, leading Aquaman to have to take it out a bit later. Like Voldemort, it survived after that and mind controlled a few people to nurse it back to health and then it then spread parts of itself just like the movie, leading it to be able to mind control more and more people and was like the movie too, where the minis would attach to people's face but would then be defeated by the Justice League using extreme cold. However, possibly the weirdest chapter is how Superman was transported to Earth C with Captain Carrot and his amazing crew. Think Bugs Bunny as the leader of the JLA. Starro was here and Superman manages to defeat it and took it back to Earth. Starro would then convince the Justice League Europe that it was dying only to betray them after wanting to be sent to space, which reminds me of the movie when he said he was content just looking up at the stars. He would blow up the ship and spread over Western Europe, only to be defeated by the character Ice. Its backstory would expand as its spores are in Blue Valley, and we learn that it was part of a larger Star Conqueror. This is a different version that came to Earth before, as well as this just acts as a scout for the large one until it's defeated by Batman. It returns and covers Europe until Dream of the Sandman series helps stop it, he would return in Infinite Crisis, helping Alexander Luther, and defeats Earth C and now Earth 26. His backstory would expand even further as we learn he is part of a race of mother stars. One appeared over the planet Hatterai and enslaved the powerful population, but one human survived and took control of the whole race using a Starro Queen. Starro has been featured in different stories since then and was battling, of course, the Justice League a few years ago, and also took place in Dark Knight's Metal, being used and being exposed as a massively powerful character, which it was. Now, I do think that Starro will return in some way, shape, or form, because we had so much more out there in the wider universe. If this is to be just a simple character, who was a scout, then there are more people out there. So with that in mind, we could see more and more happen. And if this one was just floating there in space, then this was just a simple version, much like we had the original version of Kang the Conqueror, not yet featured in Loki. We had his predecessor and the one who defeated him. So maybe we will have a bait and switch come up later because I think that Starro being defeated by some rats is not the one chief and I really want to see this character return. Let me know what you think down below. Please do drop a like down below and subscribe with notifications on and I'll see you soon and goodbye.